author Sandra Wilson and I'm here in the Kindness Kangaroo Library. <gasps> That's right, we're in a brand new library which is bigger and filled with even more books that we can share in our story time session. I'm so excited to share with you today's book, What's Shaken Bacon? And Bacon is this pig that we've met before, so make sure you look up that other story time session. This is another book by authors Janine Massey Landreth and Leanne Thompson. And this book is about a sock hop. But what's a sock hop, you say? Well, lucky enough, in the front of the book, they tell us, they give us some ideas about a sock hop, which is from a long time ago where they used to do dances in the gymnasium. And in order to protect the floor of the gym, they would make people take their hard shoes off. This was before sneakers were worn a lot. So they took their hard shoes off and they danced in their socks. So it became known as a sock hop. And at these dances, they would have live music or DJs playing music and they would have a lot of a good time. So in this book, there's a sock hop competition. So it's basically a dance competition. So let's find out more. Psst, guess what? Wakey, wakey, bacon. Today is the day. It's time to grease up the hair for the Tootsville Sock Hop finale. Bacon is super excited. It's a very happy day at Tootsville Academy. Everyone has been busy practicing their rocking dance moves to win the special Golden Sock Trophy. It's now down to the last three dance teams. Tootsville Sock Hop. Ding, ding, the school bell rings and the Tootsville Sock Hop is on. The annual Sock Hop requires the dancers to take off their shoes and dance in their socks. Bacon and friends are ready to lose their shoes and get into the groove to win the Golden Sock Trophy. Nerves set in at the side of the banner and Bacon begins to sweat like a pig. Hey, Bacon, I see you're sweating and shaking. Are you scared? Bacon replies, no, 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 not at all. We have our eyes on the prize. We are ready to win the trophy from last year's champions. The Oink Angels. Back off, Bacon. That trophy is going to be ours again. Welcome to the Tootsville Sock Hop. Who will be the winner? We've got this, the Pork Choppers. That trophy is ours, the Oink Angels. Good luck, everyone, the Kickin' Chickens. Last year's winners are first to dance. The Oink Angels are performing the Twisted Oink. Ah, oh no, Grizzle Fowl. Ouch, that looks like it hurt. Uh-oh, their focus is off. Ouch. They did not dance like the champions they were last year. The second dance team up, the Pork Choppers, doing the Greasy Pork Chop Hop. Look at that fancy footwork and their booties are shaking all around. They're getting ready for their famous electric bolt move. Uh-oh, he's pointing the wrong way. What an amazing ending. Well done, Pork Choppers. <clears throat> Last but not least, the third dance team, the Kickin' Chickens dancing the Boogie Bomb. Wow, look at those snazzy boogie woogie moves. Jumping and twirling, swooshing and swooping. They're not missing a beat. Incredible. What's this? The kickin' chickens go out with a booty bomb. Spectacular job. And the winner is, who do you think it's gonna be? The Pork Choppers. The Oink Angels stomped and pouted. No fair, we should have won. That's our trophy. Great job, Pork Choppers, said the Kickin' Chickens with glee. Suddenly, Bacon says, thank you everyone, but I think someone else deserves this trophy more than the Pork Choppers. I guess it wasn't our best performance either, whispers Grizzo. Bacon asks everyone, do we all agree? 
the chick kicken chickens were the best dancers? Agreed. Kicking chickens, your talent, hard work, and positivity really shined on the dance floor. You two are the true winners of the Tootsville Sock Hop. The ch chicken, kicking chickens were so surprised at the act of kindness. They screamed, thank you so much. Our dreams have come true. Let's all go celebrate our win together. They all realized that winning is the cherry on top of a milkshake filled with kindness, courage, big dreams, and of course, bacon. Isn't that a great story? I think it's so fun that they had a competition and it shows you different ways you can respond to the competition. So even though you try, sometimes it doesn't always turn out. Um, and sometimes you might lose, but stomping and, and shouting no fear isn't really appreciating the hard work the other teams have put in as well. Like the kick and chickens, you know, congratulated the winning team. They did just as much work and they deserve to win as well. It doesn't mean that they weren't any good. It just means that the dance that the, the pork choppers did was more appealing. That's all. But it makes us think about a story that we could create on our own about a competition maybe that we were in. So did you put something in an art show? Did you have a competition, um, a team competition with a sport? Did you have a, maybe a chess tournament um, or a spelling bee? Something that maybe you were competing against other people. Maybe you won or maybe you didn't win. But we need to remember that winning or losing, as long as we're trying our best and doing what we can and enjoying ourselves, that's the most important part. Because sometimes we win, like the last, the, the Oink Angels, um, sometimes we win and then sometimes we don't. So the next year they didn't win. Again, they just had a couple of mishaps that caused them not to dance as well as the other teams. It doesn't mean they weren't any good because as it was, they won the previous year. It just means this time it didn't work for them. So how we respond to winning or losing is just as important as how we play the game because we want to respect the judges, we want to respect the other teams and appreciate all the hard work everybody's put in. Of course, it's really nice to win, but we also have to understand a competition, there's only one winner, so everybody can't win. So I think that would be a great idea for a story. And if you share a story about a competition, I would love to hear it. Until then, you can get your copy of What's Shaken Bacon from the link underneath in the description. And make sure to check out Everyone Loves Bacon in a previous Storytime session. Then join us again for our next Storytime session where we'll have more exciting books to share. Bye!